So the best way to explain this is to give you an example of what is happening right now and what is likely to happen. So let us take the example of a pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceuticals, which we all are finding very expensive at the moment, drugs and pharmaceuticals. Now the reason for that happening is, supposing I'm a pharmaceutical importer and I import one US dollar, one real US dollar worth of pharmaceuticals or drugs. Now, I have to replace that dollar to be able to continue my business the next day. So what I'm likely to do is I'm likely to put a very high exchange rate so that I can earn plenty of RTGS dollars. So that I'm sure with the RTGS dollars I get, I will then be able to buy another one US dollar and continue my business. So what is happening right now is let's take the case of pharmacies again, since this is, I've had some discussion with them. Um, this is just an example and it could be happening in many industries. So if I'm importing $1 worth of drugs, I as a pharmaceutical importer will multiply that by six or seven, right? So I will sell that $1 worth of goods to a pharmacy for let's say $7. And then he has his costs and he has to make some profit. So he will add $2. So eventually the retailer, the retail price to us as consumers will be $9. So this one dollar worth of US dollars worth of drugs and pharmaceuticals is coming to the consumer at nine US dollars. Okay, because we don't know the, what the exchange rate, it was unknown up to now. It was just parallel market. Whatever the parallel market said, we took it for granted. Now the situation is that once the interbank market starts working, and I'm hoping that within the next couple of weeks, this will all be smoothened out and it will function properly. There will be a proper rate at which you can buy and sell for an exchange from the interbank market. So if I'm a pharmaceutical importer, same person, I don't have to go to the parallel market, I'll go to my bank. And I'll say, here's my invoice, I want to import one US dollar worth of pharmaceuticals. And let's say the interbank market rate on that day is three. So I will buy that, I will pay three RTGS dollars and I will buy those goods. Now when I receive those goods, I will again multiply my one US dollar by three, not by six or seven. So I will sell it to the pharmacist at three dollars and he will add his profit, maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty. So that same item because of the creation of a proper interbank market and not working on the parallel market will now be selling maybe for four dollars fifty as compared to nine dollars before. So that is the way that this interbank market and new monetary policy uh, will have an impact on the prices of goods in the market which will be favorable to all of us. And we should see this impact very soon within the next one to two months so as soon as this market starts functioning properly.